Okay, so I want to share with you a new tool called Mars Edit. This is a great um, program for managing um, a large amount of blogs. So the problem with when you're running your agency and you you have you know 15, 20, 30, 40, even 10 clients, right? There, you, you want to blog. You want to put out blog posts at least on a weekly basis for them. So, it's it could get kind of cumbersome to log into each blog one at a time, put up your post, log out, go into the next blog, and so on and so forth. Now, as your as the business grows and you add more clients, you you will start to have more and more blogs. So, logging in and out, logging in and out is a waste of time. There's a, there's a few tools out there that, that make the process a little easier. One of them I'm showing you right now is called um, Mars Edit. And Mars Edit is a, um, a cool little um, blog manager. And so it now, uh, understand this is a Macintosh only product. So if you're a PC user, this, is not, this, this particular program is not going to work for you. If you are a Mac user, go ahead download download Mars Edit. It's like thirty nine dollars. It's well worth it. Um, if you are a PC user, you should be a Mac user. But that's a whole new video that we'll have to record later. So if you're a Mac user and you want to manage your blogs much better, this is um, how Mars Edit works. So this is basic. What you see on the screen here is basically the interface. Um, all your blogs will be over here on the side panel um, and you can see each one has a uh, its posts and pages so you can manage both posts and pages underneath through Mars edit so let's add a new blog and it's super simple so you down here in the in the bottom corner you press the plus sign and this little box opens up and you're going to name your your blog post your blog the um, clean plumbers and then of course their URL and then finish so Mars Edit goes and does its auto detect it detects that there is a blog out there with that with those credentials and now it's asking you for your username and password and we're going to go ahead and do that here and we say okay so now it's going through what it's doing is it's going into the clean plumbers wordpress site and it's pulling in all of your existing um, content so this is uh, a lot of the blog posts we've done um, and it just keeps going and going and going and going and it pulls in some of the posts as well all the posts as well and what you basically what you see here is you see the title of the blog you see the date the time it was um, published you see the category that your blog has, and if you use tags, that would show up here. So when we put this little drop down here, now you see posts and pages. So these are all the If you want to add a new page to your site, you could do it in here as well. This is super simple. Um, what you want to do right now is create a new post. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a dummy post, and I want to show you how easy it is to add images and all that good stuff. So we click New Post up here in the top and this window opens and now what you see here is you see the blog name and you can switch between the different blogs you have on your site but you put your title you put your tags you put your content um, and all of this is the different categories that you have on your blog site so I am going to go ahead and pull in um, just some fake content here oh. um, Oh, the internet's running slow today. Okay, so I'm just going to grab um, a blog post that's already published, and um, probably should have had this opened already. Uh, let's do this. All right. So now I'm going to grab my text, and, and it, you will put this however you want to do it. Let me just delete this image because I want to show you some. Okay, so I've edited my content. Um, assuming I've edited it and it's cleaned up and it's ready to go on my blog site. And I'm going to make a title for this called, I don't know, 
obviously I would come up with a better title. And if I use tags um, in my WordPress blog, I can do that. And just separate them by a comma, and you can see it highlights it in the blue box, meaning that's ready to roll. Um, and there you go. All right, so now I have my tags, my title, my blog name, and all of my content here. Now, and then I can go over here and I can choose, you know, one of my categories because it's really good to categorize everything and we'll just say bathrooms. Done. Easy. Um, if you want to add a new category, super simple, just put it in here and click add. Um, we'll get back to the server option area in a second. Now, I want to add photos to this thing. And so when you add photos in a, in a WordPress blog post, you know that you have to um, get your image, get it formatted, then upload it to the media sharing section of your blog of your WordPress blog and then place it in the have it placed in the area and, and you're done. Well, this is a little bit easier because now I can just take my image here and drop it right into my, my blog. And so it opens up this dialog box. <clears throat> and in here, it's gonna upload to the Clean Plumbers blog. Um, I don't have it sectioned off, I don't use that that fill that feature, and then I'll say style and I can align it left or right or however I want. Here's your file name um, and your alt text. So here is where I'll plug in my keyword. Um, tab uh, plumber. And then my width and height of my, of my um, image are 300 pixels by 220. Perfect. And then I'll say, I don't want to post this now um, because Oops, because this is a live site. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going, you're simply going to say upload with post. What this will do is it will upload your image, upload your post, everything at the same time. So you can stay out of the WordPress interface. You can upload all your images and everything right into, um, into Mars Edit. So as you can see, my image is placed, my text is here, my call to action, everything. And then I'll go down to my server options here, and my post status is in draft mode right now. I can make it pending, private, or published. And text filter I don't use, comments I don't use, trackbacks, if you want to accept them, you can. And then that's it. You simply say, up here in the top corner, send to blog, and it goes. You can preview it. So, so you just look ahead, everything looks good. I like what I see, done. Um, and that's it, it's as simple as that. And so let's pretend that, I'm not gonna save this, it's done, it's up there. So now we can auto schedule all of our blog posts for this client. And normally what would happen is you would move on to your next client and of course you would close this, this client's WordPress site down, you would open up your next WordPress site and then you would log in and do all the credentials. But with Mars Edit, you just go on to your next client by simply hitting the drop down, going into the posts, and everything is there. Um, what you want to do from time to time, every time you go into a new client, is just simply refresh, and it keep, pulls down all of the existing site content from the, from the site. You always want to keep this updated with your, with your existing live site. And that's it, Mars Edit's a great tool. It allows you to manage a multitude of blog posts and it cuts your time in half. And it's really super simple. My favorite thing is the way it handles the images because that is just so time consuming in WordPress. Putting in your blog posts, putting in your images, uploading them to the media. This is really easy. You drop them in, drag and drop into your text, press one button upload and everything's done. So I hope you, I hope you like this video and Mars Edit's a $39 product. You can buy it on the Apple Store, and it again, it is only it is only a Mac only product. Um, so I hope you liked the video, and uh, more on the way.